Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Is your car suddenly feeling sluggish and struggling to accelerate? Are you noticing odd vibrations, slipping sensations, or temperature spikes? Your torque converter could be failing. In this video, you'll learn the five most common signs of a failing torque converter. That way you can catch problems early and avoid extensive transmission repairs down the road. I'll also explain how the torque converter works when healthy so you understand why these symptoms occur. A torque converter is a key component between the engine and transmission. A torque converter is filled with fluid to transfer rotational force from the engine to the transmission and provide a torque boost. At its core, a torque converter contains five main parts the impeller, turbine, stator, clutch, and front cover. The impeller is driven directly by the engine crankshaft and spins a hydraulic fluid inside the converter. This fluid then spins the turbine which is connected to the transmission input shaft. There are two important things the torque converter allows. First, it allows the vehicle to come to a stop without stalling the engine. This is because at low engine speeds, the impeller turns slowly and provides minimal force to the turbine. Second, under acceleration the torque converter multiplies the engine's torque output to increase pulling power for the vehicle. It does this through fluid dynamics between the impeller and turbine utilizing the stator. Additionally, modern torque converters have a lockup clutch that engages during cruising to create a direct mechanical connection between the engine and transmission. This eliminates wasteful slipping and improves fuel efficiency. The transmission control module determines when conditions are right to activate the torque converter clutch using various sensor data. Over time, wear and tear of a torque converter can disrupt this fluid flow, creating noticeable symptoms before total failure. A failing converter puts your transmission at risk by circulating debris that damages internal components. So being able to diagnose issues early is critical. Here are the top five symptoms to watch for. Symptom one, delayed or sluggish acceleration. Ever feel like you've pressed the gas pedal but the car doesn't immediately respond? This delayed or sluggish acceleration is a classic symptom of torque converter failure. Normally, it should instantly transfer power from the engine to the transmission. But wear inside the converter prevents this, making acceleration delayed as the RPMs build. Symptom two, vibration or shuddering. Have you noticed any abnormal vibration, especially between 30 and 50 miles per hour? Does your vehicle shake when holding a steady speed or letting off the gas? This increasingly intense shuddering is another telltale sign of torque converter failure. The stator blade is responsible for redirecting fluid flow back to the impeller for that torque boost, but excessive wear allows the stator to wobble and disrupt this fluid, creating a noticeable vibration. Symptom three, transmission overheating. Believe it or not, your torque converter plays a key role in cooling the transmission. So if you notice higher than normal operating temperatures or your gauge creeping up, restricted fluid flow inside a failing converter could be the culprit. Watch for overheating when stopped in traffic or idling. The converter circulates fluid to the transmission cooler, but worn blades and debris block the circulation, causing heat buildup. Symptom four, unusual performance issues. Any sudden problems like the engine revving but car not moving, stalling when coming to a stop, or sensations of the transmission slipping, or being stuck in neutral can indicate torque converter failure. Essentially, anything that prevents engine power from getting to the wheel smoothly points to the converter. These odd and unpredictable performance issues arise from slippage and interrupted torque transfer. Symptom five, check engine light. Pay attention if torque converter related trouble codes pop up like P0741, P2757, or P2764. These indicate issues the computer detects with converter clutch circuits and solenoids. While not all converter failures throw codes, pending diagnosis from the PCM can provide early warnings of malfunctioning components. Don't ignore these signs of potential failure. So, if you have been noticing any of these common symptoms, have your torque converter inspected and tested immediately to avoid extensive transmission repairs. Let me know in the comments if you've experienced torque converter failure. To learn even more, visit our blog for a detailed deep dive into how converters work and proper diagnostics. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more auto repair tips, and I'll see you in next video. Thanks for watching.